a very warm welcome to Yulda's Readings 5D. Before we get into the content, a very warm welcome and an update as to what we do here. We cover your psychic energies by Zodiac, your twin flame path, astrology and more. And yes, we are live every Friday, so come along and join us and click the bell, you'll get a notification. And we do have the Members Hub. Now, the Members Hub is a protected place where twin flames can go. You also can get the pre-release content ahead of the game and all the extensions, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus due to the fact I'm a psychic medium. Now, separately, we have additional lives, but just click the bell and I'll update you. And if you do want a booking, the website link is below and above on the screen. You can see we have different styles of readings. We also have group sessions. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Sit back, relax, grab a cuppa, and I'll see you on the other side. Sagittarius, welcome back. We're here to do your read. I've pulled your cards and we're going to get into it. Okay, now I do feel there's been some sense of delay and there's a few subject matters coming, which towards the beginning of next month, I will be doing channel messages. That will be just anything that comes through um, because sometimes my guides pop in and they're giving me additional. So it may seep through in this read. So we'll see what comes up. Okay, number one, I do feel that um, you're really creating healthy boundaries. You're following your intuition, especially when it comes to this romantic interest. Uh, I do feel you have been um, under the pump quite a bit, uh, really going through a transformation, especially since the eclipse in Sagittarius and your nervous system may have been directly affected. Nerves running fine, you know, trying to be in too many places, trying to be too many things to too many people. And maybe even from a psychological point of view, feeling are you going to ever see the hay for the clouds, okay? Um, some of you may have children because with the yellow chakra, it can be to do with children. But also, I do feel you trying to cover a lot of bases at the moment, um, trying to cover yeah that's really what they're showing me trying to cover a lot of bases but i do feel you're doing this quite uh reflectively uh quite privately you know it's poker face energy i feel you you got the poker face energy coming up yeah towards your love interest you know you're passionate you could be getting a bit moody uh, but at the same time, you're self-mastering. Now, I do feel the tension point is because there's been a delay in communication. So you, you, you were kind of really maybe second-guessing yourself. Now, yes, it does feel directly relating to love, trying to be in too many places at once, having too many things. Um, and you literally could call this portion of the transit for your zodiac sign like Krusty the Clown. We're, we're juggling and we're trying to balance and we're trying to take a moment for ourselves. We've got personal things going on. And so psychologically, yes, you can feel you've got no peace. Now, some of you do have some changes happening relating to home and movement, but you're looking at the bigger picture. You're looking at, okay, what can I do to bring some peace to my life? But it's almost like communication's delayed. And again, this can be on your side or the other person's. Um, you know, whatever you were blocked by psychologically, I feel you're facing it and you're taking the ball by the horns and making it happen now. There may have been a circumstance in the past where there was jealousy now. Um, jealousy, projection, um, yes, it can be third party, but I feel it's more a demeanor. Uh, wanting to be um, a king or queen in your own right, wanting to be acknowledged as such. And, you know, th this has caused problems because, again, it's like, you know, pouring energy into one cup and then the other cup's empty. And I feel this multitasking energy coming through. And it's with love and it's with work friendship groups and you know time for self is being a little bit um awkward okay again i do feel this notion of stability and catching up and um you know it's almost like you feel that maybe you've missed something and i feel the missing something is the intuition you know having if we're angry if we're frustrated and we're doing too much we can't see the hay for the clouds and it's almost like we need to step back to look at the painting because the solution is going to be there. I feel you have a vibe. You're, you're observant of someone. Now, this can be, be your coupled or single. You know, you, you are reflective, but you're also going back to your foundation. You're working hard to make that happen. 
I do feel you could fear that this person um, is not coming back if you're single or they're not um, coming towards you or, you know, abandonment. Abandonment, but it's like you faced it. This could be you or the other person, but it's also when this situation is coming to an end. For some of you, um, you know, it's like whatever you're trying to tie up, you feel like it's going to be the death of you. It's like you, you're working so hard, both psychologically, emotionally and physically. And it is to move this ship forward. And sometimes you can feel quite alone. Okay, I will say. Sometimes you can feel quite alone in the mix of that. I do feel some of you could be having flashbacks. And the flashbacks can be towards a circumstance that wasn't, you know, really... Uh, it might have been unsettling. It might have been destabilizing. Now, this can be that it's um, in your mind you're fearing it can replay out again. But for many of you, I feel this is... Um, again, tackling the 3D notion of things, challenging the wound, but there is flashbacks. So it can feel a little bit like PTSD. Yeah, stress. Lack of sleep, stress, burning the candle at both ends. And then psychologically trying to look at the foundation of the connection. There is love here. And I do feel spiritually you guys both are in sync. And when I say in sync, it's almost like you have this telepathic communication. You have this direct um, spiritual link to each other. And I feel you intuitively know without speaking, um, you know, if the other person is experiencing heavy dynamic. I do feel for those of you in communication or in the connection, there can be at times conflict and crosswise and maybe feeling one is more invested in the, in, than the other. And one party in this circumstance is a bit wary. They're a bit wary of, you know, what the person's intentions are, if abandonment is going to happen again, and if it's going to bring the connection down to the ground. This can bring some shake-ups, and especially from the eclipse, this could have already panned out. But at the same time, it's... Uh, it feels like they're showing me that it's futile. Um, and what I mean by futile is this... Like, this is destined, okay? So whatever's destined is destined. But it's almost like they're saying that, you know, you guys tend to, um, I'm hearing the term make up and break up, but it's more if you have a fight, you know, in Aussie kind of lingo, it's a blue, you know, if you have a blue, you you tend to let things simmer. But you, you don't want that, you know. You're, you're wanting to... Um, one party might be holding the fort down in their own personal lives and, you know, waiting for the other to come in for this offer. Um, but again, I'm seeing that there is one party in this situation that is a bit wary. I do feel Sagittarius, you are, you know, at times it's like you can't, you feel you can't explain yourself correctly. That this person misinterprets um, your demeanor. They, they can be they can be quite independent themselves, but also have a little bit of inner child that they're directly dealing with. I do feel between the 11th and the 14th, you can be addressing um, some hurdles and it does feel as though, you know, it's things towards um, the false start, you know, redirecting the course where things are going. But I feel for those of you that are single, this is what you're doing directly. You're, you're tuning into what you can do, but there can be an emotional feeling that this person is not, um, you know, not coming through. I do feel you want, there is a lot of chemistry here. I'll just say there's a lot of chemistry. And for some reason, I'm almost feeling that you could be um, quite fertile right now. So do be super careful. I feel one party here has a, has like um, a mother or a father situation having um, something play out and it can be causing some frustrations. It's almost like on the timeline, it's showing me that the difficulty to merge is due to schedules. It's something to do with schedules. And it feels ever so trivial, but it feels schedule. 
either one is studying or upgrading but it's almost like you know that it, it's getting it's becoming a headache something's got to give i do feel there's going to be a major decision between both parties Somebody feels as though, um, how can I put it? It's almost like they're getting to a point they don't have a filter. Um, this can be a lot of old emotions that come up out of nowhere. You may hear through the grapevine that um, a romantic partner's um, family has had a circumstance play out. You, this could be an old situation, but for some of you, this feels like a new situation. It may be um, a person that had passed away, um, something to do with finances inside the family, or an unwell, yeah, it feels like an unwell relative. Um, one or the other may need to go somewhere, be it together or not, but I feel you're hearing it through the grapevine. That this is a bit of a shake up in, in one party's life here. It just does feel a bit like a um, an abrupt energy of movement. I do feel, um, Sagittarius, you may be on guard. I feel for some of you there could be an argument. Now this argument doesn't have to be playing out with this individual. You could be defending your feelings. You could be talking to a friend and speaking about how you feel to do with this connection. I mean, it's almost like they're coming through really abruptly. They're coming through abruptly and saying you shouldn't be looking at it this way. You know, you're delusional. You need to be stronger. You need to meet somebody else. I feel this kind of wears you down. And I feel it's almost like your heart is very much connected to it. Um, you're having to be independent. But you're also being guided to be an independent thinker. Not to allow something that somebody says to define how you see it. But to have the strength within your heart to um, hear the truth. I do feel um, there's one party in this situation that is getting a little bit worried and the worry is the time frame. It's like the time frame, it's delays. There's an offer here though, there is an offer. But I do feel there appears to be, and I'm sorry if I'm going really slow, I'm just really um, looking at the logic surrounding this because, you know, it really does feel that this is going to come together uh, because it's almost like this reading is kind of staring towards you guys are together already. Um, and that's what's baffling me, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing, you know, and it's, it's unique because with the transits, it can be doing pole flips with this. But I do feel there could be sudden movement and sudden changes. But I do feel somebody... And it's almost like what I'm being shown is somebody is saying something to you. Um, sort of down the lines of, you know, what are you doing? Like, why are you wasting your time with this? And you could get a little bit triggered and, and try and convince this individual. But don't waste your mouth. Don't waste it. Sit with that and ask yourself your truth. You can only speak your truth. You can only feel your truth. And if you have to convince, it's usually that we are doing a little bit of healing. Whatever your truth is, it's yours to own. I feel you're going to need a little bit of time to kind of digest this, but I feel it's closer than you think. For some of you, this can be that you do have movement with this individual. <sighs> Okay, we're going to get into the snippet. We're going to see how this plays out because I think we need to dig deeper here. We're going to see the other side of this. Stay tuned for the snippet. And if you do want to join us, the information for the members link is directly below. Take care. 
Okay, now I have pulled additional cards and it is linking to this friend or family member who's giving you advice. Also how you're looking at the circumstance and why this is playing out. And I do feel there could be sudden movement, but your friend or whoever this person is that's giving you advice or projecting onto what she, this could even be just you second guessing yourself, but I do actually think it's a person. Now this person has a very strong firm um, standpoint where it comes to this, but they haven't walked in your shoes and only you can answer this question. I'll show you what they're up to. Um, um, and it does feel sudden movement, so I hope you're prepared. Take care. Thanks for joining Yulda Spreadings 5D. Yes, we have a whole lot more content coming up, so please subscribe so you do get the notification. Do click the bell. Now, we are live every Friday. If you look above the screen, you will see the information as well as I will start posting it the day before in the community tab to give you an update and a reminder. Those of you who are looking at how to join the Members Hub, this is where you can locate it. And also below every video, I have a link directly for that. If you do want to make a booking on the website, we do have the image of the website above here. It is quite easy to navigate through. We have a lot of webinars and different services coming up and there's a video that you can watch to help you through the process. If you have any issues in Box Me, please don't book and I can help you on the other side. Love and light guys, take very good care of yourselves and I'll see you throughout the month.